Within this video, I will demonstrate item level recovery from an RDB through the EMC Networker module for Microsoft applications. Now, I'm going to do item level recovery from an RDB. This is different from granule level recovery option, which is also available. The GLR will mount the full database, and the RDB will allow us to do roll forward of fulls plus incrementals for the recovery. We will launch the NMM GUI from the application server, or in this example, from the exchange server. We now select the DAG name for the client on which the NMM client software was configured. We will now create the RDB so that we can perform item level recoveries. From the left pane, we navigate from recovery to 2010 recovery session to the database recovery. We then select the database that we want to recover. We then will pick the advanced recovery option at the bottom of the NMM GUI. The advanced option will launch the wizard, which will step us through creating the appropriate database for the recovery. There are three recovery types, RDB, which we're going to cover in this demo, an alternate database recovery, and remote database recovery. The alternate database recovery is supported in both Exchange 2010 standalone and DAG environments, and this is the type of recovery where a backed up mailbox is recovered to a new database that is any database other than the original mailbox database. Remote database recovery is only supported in an Exchange 2010 DAG environment, so by performing a remote recovery, we can do a point in time recovery from a mailbox that is not actually mounted. What we mean by this is we can recover from the mailbox database that is the passive copy. Since I selected RDB, the wizard will now walk me through an RDB recovery. I have previously recovered from an RDB, so you're going to see that I have options to delete the RDB, create a new RDB, dismount an RDB, or RDB overwrite, which means just overwrite the existing RDB. In the event that an RDB had not already been created, the wizard would step me through creating an RDB. So I would be prompted to enter the mount point for the RDB along with the mount point for the appropriate log files. I have chosen to do an overwrite, and the wizard will prompt me when the overwrite process has completed. I now select OK, and then pick the Next button within the wizard. The wizard will now provide me with a summary of my recovery options. I can choose to change my recovery options, go back to the previous step, cancel, ask for help, or start the recovery. I'm going to choose to start the recovery. The recovery process will begin, and we can monitor the recovery by watching the monitor section of the NMM GUI. Once the recovery is completed, you will see a dialog box indicating that the database has been restored to the recovery database. I now select OK in the dialog box, navigate to the recovery, and I will now want to pick the RDB of which I'm going to do my item level recovery. I will then go to Recover, Exchange 2010 Session, and RDB Recovery. I'm now going to show item level recovery. So I select the DAG where the RDB is mounted. I can choose to restore all of the mailboxes within that database or go down to just specific items within a specific mailbox, which is what I'm showing here. So I select the inbox of the mailbox that I want to restore, and then I select the messages that I want to have restored back into the end user's mailbox. I then select Recovery at the bottom of the NMM GUI. We will now select the Start Recovery button within the dialog box, and the recovery will begin. We can monitor the recovery by watching the monitor section of the NMM GUI. We'll know that recovery is completed when the monitor section tells us that the items have been fully recovered. Messages I selected were restored back to the end user's mailbox into a restore folder that was created with the appropriate date and time stamp. So I've just demonstrated how easy it is to perform item level recovery from an RDB through the Networker module for Microsoft application.
I've also shown the easy access to that recovered item from OWA. The end user would have a very similar experience if they were looking at the recovered item from Outlook.